So if you're clicking this video, chances are your physique resembles that of a skinny fat physique. And I actually had a skinny fat physique myself. Like I wasn't always this muscular, shredded, aesthetic version of myself. I was actually skinny fat when I started my fitness journey. But you see, how did I get to this point in the first place? Well, we gotta take this back to a majority of my life and my high school years. You see, in high school, I was very skinny. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I was built like a Minecraft skeleton. Like, my biceps were literally the size of my forearms. Like, this little part right here, yeah, this was literally the size of my biceps. And so, obviously, I was very skinny in high school. Like, I remember I used to go to school every single day with the same baggy pants and the same baggy hoodie. And I remember one day, I was hot in class, so I decided to take off my hoodie. And then this girl next to me, she's like, yo, are those really your arms? And, you know, me being like the shy, introverted version of myself, I just looked at her and like, I, I frantically put my hoodie back on because I didn't know what to say. I felt very insecure. Like, I, I felt very judged at that moment. And at that point, I realized something was wrong. But, you know, of course, high school Tibbs, skinny Tibbs did not stick to that workout plan. He literally did push-ups for maybe like a few days and then went back to his old stinky ways, playing video games for eight hours a day. And so this cycle continued until eventually quarantine hit. You see, quarantine was a very funny time because I could have utilized this time to my advantage. But what did I do? I did the exact opposite. I was staying up playing like video games for 12 hours a day, literally eating a bowl of ice cream every single night. And I did no cardio. I didn't do a single workout. And thus... I became the skinny fat version of myself. And of course, there are gonna be people out there that are gonna say that their body type isn't their choice. But I'm here to say that that is a choice. That is a choice that you're consistently making on a daily basis. The reason why you're skinny fat in the first place is because of the result of many choices that you made. And obviously these aren't choices that are in favor of your body. These are choices that you are making to favor pleasure. You see, the reason why I was skinny fat in the first place was because I favored pleasure. I favored the pleasure of that ice cream. I favored the pleasure of those video games. And thus, I became skinny fat. I became a byproduct of my habits. Now, before we can move on to improving our physical state, you need to improve your mental state because after all, you're skinny fat because of the choices that you made, because of the habits that you keep doing. So in order to improve your physique, you need to improve your habits. And that all starts up here. So you need to rewire your brain. You need to take out those wires that favor instant gratification and connect them to favoring delayed gratification. If you're someone that plays video games, like for me, for example, like I remember, bro, video games were my life. Every single day, like the moment I woke up to the moment I went to sleep at like seven o'clock in the morning, I played video games. I played video games as much as I could till my body literally gave out. Like I was surpassing my limits in those games. Like literally, bro, it was probably inhuman for the amount of time that I was playing video games, but I was doing it anyways because I was addicted. So rather than playing video games, you should replace that with going outside, touching grass, literally just going outside and enjoying nature or say you eat a bowl of ice cream every single night like my boy ice cream tibs instead replace that bowl of ice cream with a protein shake this way you're not actually eating something that's going to contribute to that gut that you have instead it's going to contribute to your gains because now you're intaking protein you're intaking something that is low in fat and high in protein and so before we go on to train our body we got to train our diet so stop eating those hershey kisses and donuts and start eating something that is going to actually contribute to your physique like a protein shake or like meats something that is going to have high protein but low calories because obviously if you're eating that bowl of ice cream you know dang well in the back of your goofy mind that it's not going to contribute to your physique it's only going to contribute to your taste buds or say you overeat too much say you eat like four to five to six meals a day or maybe you just snack too much instead limit that to one to two meals a day because that's exactly how i fixed being skinny fat with that diet you see i only limited myself to one to two meals a day so at the end of the day i would just eat as much as i could but obviously you got to keep it clean i wasn't eating burger queen or mcdonald's no i was eating like a generous plate 
of like chicken, rice, and a salad. When you look in the mirror, you shouldn't be surprised because you know exactly why your physique is at its current state. And it shows your physique is literally a reflection of your habits. So obviously, if you're eating Hershey Kisses and donuts and you're playing video games all the time and you look in the mirror and you see a very skinny fat version of yourself, that is 100% on you, my boy, because that mirror is not lying. It's not showing a false version of yourself. It's showing reality right in your face. And if you don't like it, then you gotta change it. You gotta do something different because obviously what you're doing right now is not working. A lesson that I learned and that you could take from this video is that you cannot cheat a natural physique. Like sure, like I said natural because obviously like you could cheat your way to a physique if you take trend, right? Or all these like aesthetic steroids, right? But if you actually want to build a natural clean physique, you cannot cheat your way towards that. Obviously, if you look in the mirror, that mirror is showing the 100% authentic version of yourself. There is no Photoshop. Maybe you have like good lighting, but chances are you are looking into that mirror and you're either going to be happy with your results and progress or you're going to feel ashamed. You could cheat on your test, you could cheat on your homework, but you cannot cheat your physique. Like when you look in the mirror, like you can't Photoshop yourself into reality, right? Like obviously you could do that on Instagram, but when you're walking out in real life, you are not a Photoshopped version of yourself. You are the authentic version of yourself and people are gonna look at that. And so when people look at you, when people see your physique, are they gonna think to themselves, huh, is this someone that actually takes care of themselves? or are they going to see someone that favors instant gratification and procrastination? The only thing that is holding you back right now from your dream physique is yourself, is your own mindset. You can literally start doing push-ups, pull-ups. If you don't have any weights, make weights, get a book bag, put water bottles in it, start curling it. There's so many things that you could do. There's so many ways that you could work out your body. You don't need a gym membership. You don't need gym equipment. You can literally just use your body. The only way you're getting out of this one is if you're literally just a floating head. But at that point, I would still find a way to do push-ups. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I would do push-ups probably with my tongue or something. Like, you know, hey, but there are people that are literally out there without arms, without legs that still work out. So at the end of the humble day, the only thing that is holding you back is your own mindset. And so when I started my fitness slash self-improvement journey in 2022, I knew I had to start at that very moment. I was like, yo, like a wave of urgency just flooded my brain. And I was like, yo, I cannot waste, I cannot afford to waste another second. I have to start right now. Like this wave of urgency just flooded my brain. And I knew I had to start at that very moment. I was like, bro, a gym membership? Nah, that's gonna take too long. I cannot afford to waste time. Like, yeah, like low key, like I, I, at the time I didn't have that much money, but now you know what I'm saying? I have a full-time job, I'm working, I'm surpassing my limits, but I did not have that money. I didn't have any weights. So I was like, bro, what is the only thing that is holding me back? And that's when I realized it was my own mindset. And so from that point forth, I was doing everything I could with my own body. I was utilizing my body to its fullest potential. I was literally doing all types of like leg workouts, like lunges, squats. I was doing like push-ups. I was doing all types of ab workouts. I was doing everything I could. Even if I'd like, I didn't even have a pull-up bar. I was literally going out in the woods, just like hanging off a branch and doing pull-ups. I was doing everything I could in my power to actually build up my physique. And so, you gotta stop making those excuses, bro. It's already almost 2025. You cannot afford to make excuses. Every single day that you make an excuse is a day that you could have used towards building your physique. It's so funny because I thought one day I would just magically receive a like Greek goddess's physique, but that's not how it's gonna work. Nothing is just handed to you in life. Like unless you're low key like Donald Trump and you got like a million dollars from your father. But hey, at that point, like his father had to work for it as well. So low key, like his father had to work in order for Donald Trump to actually receive that money. So low key, nothing is really handed to you. Eventually, like someone else either worked for it or you have to work for it yourself. So start working on yourself. Start actually developing your mind, your body, your diet, and also your spiritual state. But that's for another video. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Stay blessed, stay wealthy, and remember to keep surpassing your limits. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.